What's going on YouTube? Anthony Sequera here, and I've finally got a few minutes to give you the Inarsi exam review. Yes, I know many of you are going to be using this Inarsi exam as your concentration requirement for your CCNP enterprise. So let's jump right in. A lot to talk about here. Uh, let me bring up for you kind of the rules of the game, right? You can expect 60 questions. Here's the thing. The time pressure on this one is legit. Uh, I definitely, before I forget to talk about this, I want to mention it right up front. This exam, wow, I glanced up. Oh, by the way, you're going to get about 60 questions, right? So I glanced up at the timer uh, as I had about, I'd say, 10 questions left. So I was at the 50 question mark. And I glanced up at the timer and I was in shock because I had like 15 minutes left. So I really did end this exam right at about the time limit, maybe a few minutes to spare. That right away set up an alarm flag for me because I am a very fast test taker. I don't mess around. As you might guess, I've taken, you know, hundreds of Cisco exams at this point, right? So I've got these things kind of nailed. I'm a CCIE in the area of route switch. So much of this content I knew quite well. I wasn't doing any dilly dallying of any kind. And really, really please watch the clock. This is a time pressure. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, Anthony, there's no simulations and there's only 60 questions. So how in the world could there be time pressure? Well, it just speaks to the complexity of the questions. Even drag and drops, which are usually like, woo, money, baby, let's go. Give me those drag and drops. I love them. You can get them done quickly. They're typically easy. These drag and drops were a nightmare. I kept having to like take all the tiles and move them back over to the left because I was like, I don't think I did that right. So I'll tell you, this was a challenging test. I put it on a scale of five on a one to five scale. So this is right up at the top of that scale. Hey, after all, it is advanced routing and services. So I figured they stepped it up because of the word advanced. So yeah, watch the time, can't emphasize it enough. You are not going to have simulations, but still, you're going to have exhibits and exhibits and exhibits, you know, and that takes some time. Like, look at these two diagrams, look at this router output, and then figure out which block of code is going to fix what's going on. Troubleshooting, of course, as you know, if you've taken a look at the NRC exam objectives, troubleshooting is a big part of this. So lots of the questions were around troubleshooting. Now, I would have to say that the big topics, the big ones, like the ones that you're just like, wow, I'm glad I knew this topic, you know, those that really jumped out at us were nothing that would surprise you. If you look at the exam objectives, you could kind of figure it out, right? There was a ton of EIGRP. There was a ton of OSPF. There was a ton of BGP. Then there was a ton of redistribution of those protocols. Then an awful lot of MPLS, an awful lot of the layer three MPLS VPN, plenty and plenty of DMVPN, and then just a smattering of the security stuff and the service stuff. So really those were the big areas that I just mentioned. If you don't know the VPN section, backwards, forwards, inside and out, that, you know, one of four sections of this test, don't go take it. Be very well versed on the DMVPN, MPLS, and the Layer 3 MPLS VPN. And have no fear, subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing lots of YouTube videos on this. I'll be giving you lots of free resources at my blog site, ajsnetworking.com, as well as various other sites that I have my hand in. So we will be getting you help with this very, very difficult exam. Real quick, 
Just want to make sure, I think I started to do it, and then got sidetracked here. Let me go through the exam question types. You got those multiple choice. You got those multiple correct multiple choice. There are no choose all that apply, thank goodness. They'll always tell you choose two or choose three. They'll tell you the number that are correct there. You got drag and drop. And then as I said, there is a bias towards questions that have exhibits. That'll be output from devices, that will be uh, diagrams, and you know, you really have to just work quickly and coordinate all that information and answer those questions correctly. Remember too, as I wrap up this discussion of the NRC exam, remember this please, that while I tell you there's a minimum cut score right now of 825 out of 1,000, while I tell you that there's 60 questions, all of that completely subject to change. So be sure to subscribe so I can keep you updated on any changes that are announced or even not announced that I learn regarding the Anarsi exam. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon right here on the old YouTube. Whew, thank God for the magic of video editing. There was something else that I wanted to tell you that I forgot. And here it is. I did not notice any grammatical errors in this exam. Yay! Maybe Cisco did buy a subscription to Grammarly for their exam authors. But what I did find in this test three different times was typos in code samples. I know, it's upsetting. But listen, here's the good news. Never once did it impede my ability to solve the question, right? So they'd have like, let's say it was a route map and it would say route hyphen map, uh, my map, permit 10. And they had no space between the permit and the 10, let's say, so those are mashed together. That would of course produce an error at the CLI, a syntax error, but we could just make the assumption based on the question that that is just an innocent typo. You see what I'm saying? So there was no option like this will, you know, this will uh, make an error uh, when input on the device, right? So these things could be kind of safely ignored. They weren't problematic as far as me being able to answer the question correctly. Hey, look, I know three times out of 60 questions I saw typos, like the one I described. That's an issue, but at the end of the day, don't let it upset you. Just get in, get this thing passed. And now this is the real end of the video. Thanks again for watching.